find the least common multiple, or LCM, of each group of numbers using prime factoring. Number one, 18 and 24. Number two is 99 and 66. Number three is 4, 10, and 3. Now this method of prime factoring involves writing each of the numbers as a product of primes. So let's go ahead and start number one. Number one, we're looking for the LCM of 18 and 24. I'll take 18 first of all, and I want to break down 18 using multiplication. One way to write 18 is 2 times 9. And then I want to keep breaking down the numbers involved until I just have prime numbers. 2 is prime, so I'll just recopy the 2 times. I can break down the 9 further into 3 times 3. I now have 2 times 3 times 3. Those are all primes, so I've written 18 as a product of primes. Now I take my other number, 24, and I want to break down 24 as a product of primes. Now there are many ways I can get started here. I just need to pick one way to break down 24 to get started. One way would be 6 times 4. And then I continue breaking down the numbers involved. 6 I can break down as 2 times 3 times the 4 I can break down as 2 times 2. And I have all prime numbers now, 2's and 3's, but I like to write one more line here where I put the numbers in order. Let's put all the 2's first, 2 times 2 times 2, and then the 3 on the end. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 is 24 written as a product of primes. Now I'm going to use what I have here and what I have here to put together my LCM of 18 and 24. Notice that the prime numbers that are involved are 2 and 3. I'm going to write 2's and 3's down for my LCM. I need to decide how many 2's and how many 3's. There's one factor of 2 involved here. There's one, two, three factors of two involved over here. I look where there's the most twos. The most twos is here. That's how many I'm going to use for my LCM. I'm going to multiply two times two times two for my LCM. Next, I need to decide how many factors of 3 I need for my LCM. There are two factors of 3 here. There's just one here. The most number of 3's is right here in my factors of 18. There are two involved, so I need two factors of 3 for my LCM. Now I got my 2's and I got my 3's. Finally, I need to multiply all these numbers back together to see what the LCM actually is. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 times 3 is 6, times a 3 on the end. 4 times 6 is 24, times another 3. 24 times 3 I'll figure out here on the side, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. That's 72. 72 is my LCM of 18 and 24. So the LCM is 72. Now there's 
One more thing I'd like to say here before we move on to our next part of the problem. What do all these twos and threes have to do with the least common multiple of 18 and 24? Now, we're all done with the problem, but I just want to say a little bit on the side about what these twos and threes mean. Let me just recopy 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 here on the side. Well, when I multiply those numbers together, I know that I get a multiple of 18 because I have a 2 times 3 times 3 involved. The 2 times 3 times 3 here tells me that I have a multiple of 18. I know I have a multiple of 24 if I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 involved. Well, I have a 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, so I know I have a multiple of 24. When I multiply these numbers together, I have a multiple of both 18 and 24, so it's a common multiple of both of them. Now, if I try to take away any one of these numbers that are involved, for instance, if I had one less factor of 2, I would no longer have a multiple of 24 because 24 requires three twos. If I took away a 3, I would no longer have a multiple of 18 because 18 requires two factors of 3. So this is actually the smallest number that's a multiple of both 18 and 24. That's why I get the least common multiple of 24 and 18 when I multiply them together. And that least common multiple turns out to be 72. The LCM of 18 and 24 is 72. Let's go ahead and do number two here. Let's find the least common multiple of 99 and 66 using prime factoring. To get started, I take one of my numbers, take 99, and I want to write 99 as a product of primes. I need to start breaking down 99 into a multiplication problem. Now 99, I know I can write as 9 times 11. 9 I can break down further, so I'll continue. This 9 I can write as 3 times 3 times 11 on the end. 11's prime, I'm just going to recopy it. I don't want to write 11 times 1. 1's are never going to help us in this process. So if we have a prime number, we just recopy it. Now let's take our second number, 66 here. 66 I can write as 6 times 11. And 6 I can break down further as 2 times 3 times, again, I recopy the 11 because the 11 is prime. And now 2 times 3 times 11, those are all primes. I have my prime factors of 99 here and my prime factors of 66 here. So I'm going to use these numbers to put together my LCM of 99 and 66. Now I see a 2, some 3's, an 11. Those are the kinds of numbers I need to write down here. I know I will have 2's, 3's, and 11's. The tricky part is how many 2's, how many 3's, and how many 11's. Let's start with the 2's. There are no 2's here. There's one 2 here. This is where the most twos are, so I copy down that one two. Next, let's think about the threes. There are two threes here, just one three here. The most number of threes is here, so I'm going to use these two factors of three. 
copy down those two factors of 3. You would never take 3's from both. You take the 3's from where there's the most, and that's just from my factors of 99. Now what about 11? I have 111 here and 111 here. The most number of 11's that I see in either one is just 111. So I'm just going to use 111. Which one you take doesn't matter, but you just take an 11 from one of them. If they both have 111, we just want one. Because there's at most one 11 in either one of these prime factor lists for those two numbers. Now let's go ahead and multiply our numbers back together here. 2 times 3 is 6, times 3 times 11 is 33, 6 times 33, figure that out on the side, 33 times 6, 18 carry the 1, 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19, I have 198. 198 is the LCM of 99 and 66. So for number 2, our LCM is 198. Let's find the LCM of one more group of numbers here using prime factoring. We're going to work with 4, 10, and 3. We're actually going to find the least common multiple of a group of three numbers. So in number 3, we have 4, 10, and the number 3. Take one of my numbers to get started. I'll take 4, and let's break that down into primes. 4 is 2 times 2, and actually that's it. We have our prime factors of 4. Let's take 10. 10, I can break down into 2 times 5. And that's another one where we get to our prime factors in one step. 2 is prime, 5 is prime, so we have our prime factors. Now our third number is 3. Well, 3 already is a prime number. The only way I could break down 3 using multiplication is to write 1 times 3 or 3 times 1. The 1's are never going to help us here, so when we have a prime number, we really just leave it alone. I'll just write 3 equals 3 here. My prime factors of 4 are 2 times 2. For 10, I have 2 times 5. And for 3, I just leave that 3 alone. Now let's put together our LCM. I need to use 2's, 3's, and 5's because those are the prime numbers that I see circled here. How many 2's, how many 3's, and how many 5's I have to decide. There are two 2's involved in the factors of 4. There's just one 2 for the 10, and there are no 2's involved in the factors of 3. Well, the most number of 2's is right here in the 4, so I need those 2. 3's come next. There are no 3's in the 4, no 3's in the 10. There's one 3 involved with the 3, so I do need one factor of 3. And for 5's, there are no 5's coming from the 4, one from the 10, none from the 3. Well, the most number of 5's that I see is 1, so I need that 5. And now I'm ready to multiply these numbers back together. 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times, five, four times 15 is going to be, let's figure that out, 15 times 4 is 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 60. My LCM is 60. 
Now, I don't need to multiply the numbers together in this way when I have 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. When you're multiplying numbers together, you can actually multiply them in any order you want. For instance, I could have gone down the line 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, 12 times 5 is also 60. And there are other ways you can multiply those numbers together. So here we have our third LCM for 4, 10, and 3. The LCM is 60.